So you probably know the stats to this. Uh, when I was reading uh, up before this interview, I think it's we create 300 million tons of plastic every year, and roughly half of that is single-use plastic. Drink or eat or use it once, and it's yeah. in the garbage. Um, so that's the stuff that ends up in the ocean gyres and in the landfills, and it will last a long time. But are those little plastic knives and forks and bottles, is there also the invisible um, outgassing occurring on those items? Yes, because they the plastics contain, in addition to the backbone, the polymer that is the hard material, they also contain lots of what's called additives, chemicals that make them more durable, for example, UV light absorbers, so that the, the plastic doesn't get brittle and breaks. There are UV absorbers in the plastic, or just dye stuffs, or fl flame retardants, and plastic softeners. I and mean, heavy PVC is 50% is by weight is phthalate not PVC, because to make it soft. So 50% will just outgas. Phthalates are very bad, right? They are well-known endocrine disrupting chemicals and are bad, yeah, for that reason, exactly. So imagine 50% of an item of heavy uh, PV, soft PVC uh, that will go, will go out in the end, be it the first part uh, during its use phase in a human environment and in an indoor environment, but then when it's out there in the, in the outer environment, then these chemicals just outgas and circulate in the environment. I'm just looking around my desk here, my podcast desk, and I have this, uh, my, my bike helmet. I don't know why that's here, mm -hmm. but um, a vitamin bottle and my eyeglasses and the clickers and the thing for my phone. I mean, there's plastics everywhere. Yes. I mean, you could argue that is we, are, we are living in the plastocene. Absolutely. So... Um, on other podcasts, I think it was uh, an early one with Art Berman, uh, we discussed how gasoline is one of many of thousands of products that we get from petroleum. And if somehow, miraculously, we stopped using internal combustion engines and went totally to electric vehicles, we would still need to extract the same amount of oil because we have demand for all those other products. So plastics that come from petrochemicals if I recall correctly, are expected to be 50% of the growth in petroleum demand in the coming 20 years. So is this an example of where we need an input and its demand creates a byproduct like plastics, and then the demand for the byproduct, in this case petrochemicals, outstrips the demand for the original product, like high fructose corn sweet sweetener as a byproduct of, of creating ethanol? Like what if we stopped gasoline? Could we stop demand for all these plastics? Um, can the growth in plastics demand be halted or does the industry world uh, demand for this have its own metabolism separate from the transportation sector? That was a big bite, but what do you think about that? Yeah, that's a big bite and a complicated one. <laughs> First of all, I mean, I, uh, Art Berman says oil is the economy. So I don't... He, he got that from me, by the way, but but go on. Okay, <laughs> that's fine, fair. Or, yeah, whatever. But yeah, uh, can we really do what you said as a, as a hypothesis or as a thought experiment that we stop using gasoline? I think the oil part or the, the, the fuels part is much more important than the plastics part. So what you are saying is that the plastics part may take over if we go down somehow, some some way with the oil, with the, the fuels part. But but I think the fuels part will always be dominant. In terms of amounts right now, the chemical industry takes about or uses about 12% of the global oil production. And the rest is for, for, for fuels, for transportation and heating or whatever we, we use. Do you, for. do you know what the corresponding number is for natural gas, where we get our plastic bags from and other things? It's probably higher than 12%. Mm, not directly, but it's probably also a fraction like that. Okay. And now, of course, if there is this, this scenario that the fuels part goes down, then the, the, the chemical industry may want to scale up the plastics or the chemistry part. But I'm not sure about that. Uh, I'm not 
think I don't think that's possible even because we need the fuel. We need oil for the economy in the function of a fuel, not in the function in the function of a feedstock for the chemical industry. But if it if it were the way you said, of course the industry is pushing for that, but I don't there's no real need. Plastic is not the economy. We live in a plastics world, that is true, but that is not necessary. We could also live in a, in a our current modern life with many other materials that will be, would be used to make it the items we use in our lives. So plastic is not the economy, whereas oil is. So what, what good progress is being made on, on that um, alternative products made with things that aren't come from petrochemicals? Is there a, a, a lot of progress on, on that, like using yeah, bamboo that... or other things? That's a big concern, for me at least, uh, and also a very controversial topic because some people say the chemical industry has to be decarbonized and I don't really understand or see what that means because, I mean, the products are made of carbon and we could say, okay, we need to get the carbon from somewhere else. So we, we grow bamboo or we grow whatever we can take from the fields. But given the scale of the chemical industry that we have, we would be in massive competition with food production or we'd have to, to just uh, flatten ecosystems and forests and, and convert them into, into agricultural areas to grow the, the feedstock for the chemical industry. That would be total nonsense. So I think that, that avenue is, is not there. So I think the, the only way is the chemical industry has to be scaled down. And then we may still use fossil fuels because it's a smaller amount that we use for them to make chemicals, or we may also use some biofuels growing what was what was grown on the fields. But then overall the footprint would be much smaller. With the current size, it cannot be greened. 